Today is Valentine's Day and because it's Valentine's Day I am making some Dauphinois potatoes. Uh, Dauphinois potatoes are a French recipe that uh, involves cream and pepper and potatoes of course and I'm making these uh, for my wife so when she comes back from work she can have these lovely uh, Dauphinois potatoes. She loves this recipe so um, can't get this wrong. Hopefully I won't get it wrong. Anyway, uh, happy Valentine's Day to everyone and let's get cooking. So this recipe is really really simple. All you need is about a kilogram of potatoes. Then you will need cream of course, double cream, a pint of cream. Normally you would use about two to three cloves of garlic. You can put more depending how much you like your garlic but I like to use garlic granules. However some people will argue that uh, fresh garlic is better but I think you know for the garlicky taste I'm going for I'll go for two tablespoons of garlic granules. Step number one is to peel your potatoes. Once you've peeled your potatoes, just rinse them and then slice them. You can slice your potatoes using a knife if you want to. Uh, just slice them as thin as you can, but not as thin as potato crisps. But uh, that'll take a long time. If you have time, do it by hand, but the food process is always quicker. So I'm going to do mine in the food processor. The next step is to take all your potatoes and put them in a bowl. Then to your potatoes add the garlic or two tablespoons of it and just massage it in and you can see the garlic is sticking into it. I prefer the powder because as I said you know you get more of it than uh, using fresh garlic. Of course you can use fresh garlic if you really like fresh garlic. I know some of you are going to say oh I love fresh garlic why did you not use fresh garlic? I don't use fresh garlic in this recipe because every time I've used it I still ask myself where is the garlic? Even though I put like six cloves of garlic. I, I, I love garlic. Uh, it's just my taste must love garlic. Then to your potatoes, you add a teaspoon of salt. I will also add about three quarters of a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And as I've added your salt and pepper, just mix them. You can smell it. It's lovely. The pepper, the... You can smell the pepper, the garlic. It's just lovely. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely smell. After you've mixed all the pepper and the salt in there, you get your potatoes and you just start laying them flat on in an oven proof dish. It doesn't have to be ceramic, it can be glass, it can be any, anything really, as long as it's going to withstand the heat in your oven. So, of course, don't use plastic. Don't use plastic, I repeat. So this dish is big enough, you can see there's loads of space, um, so I could have put some more potatoes. Now to this we will add the cream. So once once you put all the cream on, I like to put some cheese. Uh, so I put some hard cheese, parmesan, parmigiano, reggiano, whatever you pronounce it anyway. Um, get some hard cheese, Italian style hard cheese, doesn't have to be Italian, get some hard cheese. The cheese here the better, I think. This is just my twist to it. I like the nutty taste you get from Parmesan. So after you finish putting your Parmesan, you put the Daphne potatoes in the oven, 165 degrees for about an hour. Nice and low heat uh, for an hour and it will be tasty. So into the oven it goes So, in for an hour. So yeah, we'll let that bake for an hour and let's see what it looks like after an hour. So, it's been an hour and our Tofino potatoes are ready. So we'll take them out of the oven and be ready to eat. After about an hour of cooking, this is what they will look like. Look at that beautiful golden color and the cheese I added, you can smell the beautiful parmesan. As I said, this is 
my twist most people don't add parmesan they add nutmeg but i prefer the beautiful parmesan it gives it an italian twist um so uh let's save this here is the finished product steak peppercorn sauce with dofino potatoes yeah we are because it's valentine's day we are lazy we're not going to eat at the dining table we're just going to eat in front of the tv watching some netflix <laughs>